Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the 3D printer that I bought recently, about uh, several weeks ago. Uh, it is uh, Creality uh, N5 Pro. Uh, as you can see, it has a cubic stable structure, which uh, make uh, it a very stable um, print bed, because the bed only move up and down, not back and forth. Uh, so the parts won't falling down, it's like that. So only nozzle is moving uh, back and forth, left and right on this uh, uh, structure, uh, the beam. Okay, so it's uh, compared with other normal uh, 3D printer, it's only, it's all, uh, the bed have to move the back and forth. It's not very good. Um, yeah, overall, it's a, I think it's a decent uh, um, budget uh, 3D printer. It costs about uh, only about uh, Canadian dollar, $450. I bought from 3D Printer Canada. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, after print uh, several of these uh, um, print uh, project and uh, Man, definitely it uh, takes a lot of time, and uh, usually most of these printer. Usually, I prefer to print a, a, a kind of uh, a big one, and uh, uh, it, it will take uh, more than one day. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, kind of I get used to. I just let it continuous print overnight, and uh, the. Also, you can see a uh, complicated one uh, need uh, support, definitely. Uh, you can set up the, on the Cura slice. Uh, I use a uh, tree structure uh, support and uh, infill for the tree, just 5% and uh, uh, put for the parts is 10%. It's just a kind of uh, save uh, save the material uh, also because uh, you, you don't need uh, for this uh, uh, support the uh, uh, infill then too too high because it's hard to get now i'm talking about the the issue um the filament broken actually my, my case is the filament is stuck inside the line and uh, oh, it's very become very flat although the gear is moving and uh, uh, still does move the filament inside. So uh, in, uh, in uh, finally, it's just a print air. Once I find out it's too late, it's just a pass. It's a lot already just like uh, m missing the, all, all the uh, whole head. Okay, so I think uh, because I don't want to waste one day for the throw away this part. So I think. Uh, uh, I maybe have a solution. Uh, I think it's working. Um, first, I will uh, auto home it. So once everything back to to zero zero zero, and uh, I will use uh, uh, move to Z axle because I have to get to know what is the Z axle number because as, as if I got this number I can let I can change the G code and let uh, the rest of G code running right it makes sense um, so as you can see right now it's slowly uh, move up to the home base so once it's moved on then I will move down the said Excel and uh, let the nozzle reach to of course, you need also move to like X, Y, Z to reach to the edge, the last edge on this uh, unfinished parts. Okay, so roughly, I mean not roughly, I mean have to be uh, kind of uh, as accurate as possible because I mean you you have to be uh, very uh, goes to the point one millimeter because uh, uh, as you can see in the manual they have set up has a um, can move to, to fine tune the moving uh, axle so it's like a 10 millimeter or it's a point one millimeter 
right? And uh, right now, as you can see, I try to move the z-axis, and uh, there's uh, yeah, that's also ten, also one millimeter movement. So at the beginning, I use uh, I move uh, uh, ten millimeter, ten millimeter, and uh, until it's reached the pass, I start to change to point uh, one millimeter. Now let's uh, look at the uh, the G code. At uh, as you can see at the right side, there's the uh, original G code uh, for this uh, Python magic code. As you can see, and the left, I I create a file called repair G code. Uh, as you can see in here, everything I just copy the head and here. And uh, as you can see in this uh, breakpoint. I delete all this line because this line is just for normal like a nozzle uh, the the 3d printer going to uh, print a line you know its purpose is to clean up the the print nozzle uh, the, the reason I have to delete it because uh, it, 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 you this line it's moving it will definitely will be hit my path okay so I delete that one and uh, also I add this line because I want to nozzle at least move to uh, above the, the paths because I use this Z100, Z182.8 that's the edge of the, the unfinished paths okay so but I need to move nozzle because once if you don't do that this line it will definitely make a collision on that the paths okay so I add this line at least bigger than this one, and uh, then the rest is uh, this line. Just copy like a uh, find uh, the rest. Uh, like say I do a search, and in here, and I do a search on I found, uh, and found, right, and uh, current one. So, right, the click it, right. So from here all the way you copy to this one right everything is done so that's our point. then save it so uh yeah and then once you save it it just start running this uh, repair code uh by the way i want to talk about the uh, filament uh, breaker sensor uh for my case that's case uh because the filament did not broken actually it's just stuck inside a uh, normal filament sensor won't detect this one because uh, normal one use uh, uh, limit switch limit switch only detect there's a is the path broken it's gone and then it will trigger the, the sensor however the if stuck still in stuck inside the normal one won't detect it and uh, you have to buy us it's called smart smart filament uh, sensor so i already bought like from uh, uh, aliexpress and uh, the basically they use like a sense that the filament movement instead of uh, it's like a, uh, uh, stuck inside it's uh, all without stuck inside so because the movement is uh, it away because he knows if it doesn't move something is wrong right so that one definitely i think it was like uh, was to buy it because uh, he don't want to do this uh, things again like i mean uh, it's uh, too much headache right now after running the repair code as you can see printer is uh, continue running and uh, printed all the rest of the, the head the shoulder uh, but you can still see there's a line there's another uh, up above the shoulder area, right arm, but I mean, I mean, it's better than not. Yo he cantar esta canción, yo he cantar esta canción para mi gente. 